Hi, boys and girls and learning coaches. Up to this point, we have been learning a lot of different ways to practice our sight words, remembering that we should give our sight words at least 10 minutes a day to practice and to review those words that we're learning. Now, just to remind everyone, you should be working on a specific list. One of these lists should be your child's words or your child may have already advanced to the point where they're getting new words. Now, after we learn to read these words, we can also practice spelling and writing them when we're doing our written work um, during the regular lessons and the NOVA lessons. So from this point on, for the rest of the school year, I would like your family to make up their own sight word routine. I've given you lots of different ideas of how you might like to practice sight words and different ways that work for different kids. And now it's your turn to decide what works best for you and your family. So on Monday, you might you may practice your sight words on Monday through Friday. You may practice your sight, sight words more on the weekend because that fits into your family's routine better, better. Either way is good. Just whatever five days a week you plan to practice sight words. So here's an example of a routine you might come up with. I wrote, Mondays would be a favorite game. So of all the different ways we practice, what's your child's favorite way to practice? Maybe it's writing them in shaving cream. Maybe it's playing tic-tac-toe. But either way, whatever your child decides is their favorite game, that could be a Monday activity or a day one activity. Tuesday, I said something with movement. It is important to get our kindergarten students up and running. So maybe it's a sight word tag game that you made up at home, or maybe it's one of the hide and seek games where your child has to run with a timer and try to get as many words as they can correct. Wednesday, I suggested could be a writing activity. Now this could be writing the words in shaving cream, writing the words on a dry erase board, um, or better yet, lots of fun. Maybe it works into your bath time routine and you can get bath crayons and write the words on the side of the tub with bath crayons. However you wanna fit it in to make it lots of fun and encourage sight word reading. Thursday, I suggested reading detective. Maybe you could pick a favorite book and look for specific words in a story. And then Friday, really, or your last day of the week, make that a check-in day. Use those two jars on your counter, the, the jar that's the goal for your child of words to know and the other jar that are words that they already know and see how many words your child is currently recognizing. As always, 10 minutes a day, keep up the great work on sight word practice. And once you have this routine, try to stick with it for the rest of the year to see if you can encourage fun ways to learn more and more words. Keep up the great work.